great seeing you here again in this new video dedicated to artificial intelligence and in this video I will discuss the history of artificial intelligence. We will be looking at the timeline of artificial intelligence and we will look at different periods. The first period goes from 1940 till 1993. The second period is from 1993 till 2011. And of course, we will also consider what happened, what is the evolution of AI after 2011. And we will also consider what recent events happened since 2020 and which are important for understanding AI. But before we continue, don't forget to click on the subscribe button, click on the bell button, and every time we have a new video, YouTube will inform you about it. So let's have a look at the first period, eh, when we look from starting from 1940 till 1993. And in 1940, we see that in the United States, they create the ENIAC computer, and it's calculating artillery tables. Eh? They're quite complex. At that time, there were a lot of manual calculations to do. And based on this, the army or the artillery would have, uh, let's say, tables which they can use for using or optimizing the usage of the artillery. In 1950, we know the very famous uh, statement of Alan Turing, Can Machine Think? the imitation game and all the elements that Alan Turing created is a very important step in artificial intelligence. So basically we can say that or that the timing of artificial intelligence starts or the era of artificial intelligence starts here with that question said by Alan Turing if machines can think, which also led to the Turing test how we can evaluate if a machine is a machine or are we talking to a human. Dartmouth had an AI proposal in 1956 and in their proposal they stated that they would solve AI in two months. Uh, uh, at that time it was a very, very optimistic uh, statement as we already can imagine today, maybe a little bit humoristic to think that a problem like AI with the means they had at that time could be solved in two months. Of course, it didn't work and we see that other things happened which are important. In 1964, there is a chatbot, Elisa, which was developed, which was doing psychoanalysis and it seems that the chatbot was basically quite good. The people had the impression that they were talking to a real psychoanalyst. Of course, it was just a machine, but it was a very important step at that time, how to deal with certain uh, issues. In 1966, there was the shaky all-purpose robot, which was made, which was developed to do certain tasks. And you could see that, of course, when you look at the uh, uh, science fiction movies, we've seen many of those robots. And this is something that has been realized already in 1966. The other element that we see, first of all, in 1974 till 1980, uh, we saw there is a first AI winter. Things didn't go well. People lost, uh, in fact, faith in AI. And there were some additional elements that happened. But following that, no real important achievements have been created. And we arrive uh, in 1987 in the second AI winter going up to 1993. One of the elements are computer power, of course, computer memory, and also uh, certain limitations with neural networks that were in fact uh, limiting the people to continue in certain areas. After 1993, uh, we see a new period of uh, AI. There is the algorithm EQP, which proves the Robbins problem. The Robin prob Robbins problem is an algorithm which was not proven yet, but it could be proven using the EQP algorithm. And in the meantime, there are other algorithms available, but this was a very important achievement, but it brought hope back to the development of artificial intelligence. 1997, we see a very important uh, event. We know that 
computers were already being used to play against humans, but in 1997, IBM Big Blue wins the chess from Kasparov. Kasparov was the leader in chess, the grandmaster, the top grandmaster. It is very clear that this was an enormous success. Chess is not an easy game. There are more difficult games, but this was a first step into the use of AI to, uh, to win from a grandmaster in chess. We will see later how this was developed, what are the different uh, elements that led to the success of Deep Blue and how people were dealing with that. There are some very interesting uh, consequences of uh, Deep Blue and some games that were always considered unwinnable when you come into a bad situation. And we can see that with the help of Deep Blue, these also could even lead to a win of one of the parties. Then we have in 1999 the Deep Space One remote agent where they are testing AI. The element was here, the system uh, was really working. They had uh, all kinds of logical statements in there, all kinds of elements, and they wanted to see if the system was working properly, but there were no f uh, faults, so people started to introduce faults to see how the remote agent would resolve the faults, and it turned out that it was really working very well, but no real faults happened. Uh, the people, the engineers, had to introduce those faults to test the system. 2005, we have the DARPA, unmanned cars in the desert. There is a race where different cars are going through the desert. They have to follow a specific circuit only using their own information. There is no driver. And here we see that there is a success story. We have those self-driving cars, unmanned cars, which are successfully going from A to B in the desert. Of course, in the desert, you don't have any other cars around you. So this is an important achievement, but it's not really usable for real life. Then we have in 2007 the DARPA Urban Challenge, where we have cars more working or operating in, an, uh, let's say, in a normal environment, which was also quite successful. Uh, but it depends also on the conditions of the traffic. Uh, you can imagine when you're doing this in an um, American urban environment, or you go to Cairo or uh, uh, Bangkok or some other towns where the traffic is a little bit more different than in those smaller or those urban uh, villages or places in Western Europe. Then we have 2008 uh, where we use uh, the Mars rover and the Mars rover was equipped with only proven technology. So it may seem that not the old technology was used, but NASA is always typically using proven technology, and that proven technology uh, will help the Mars rover or the remote agents to operate properly. We know these systems, we know what can go wrong, and we can take the ne necessary measures to deal with them. Then we have the IBM Watson system, uh, which also was able to win Jeopardy. In 2011, we see here that uh, basically artificial intelligence is becoming more and more interesting. We have more and more uh, new challenges, new successes, and we can see what happens after 2011. So when we look at the evolution starting from 2011, we see that there was a boost in the applications. There are more and more applications in AI that come to life, that are being studied. And when we see that uh, typically at that time, the logic-based AIs were, in fact, at that time, the coolest thing. They were typically using Bayesian networks. Uh, we will talk about those later. So it was a logic-based AI that was uh, very popular at this moment. Now, when we look at neural networks, neural networks, we know that today they are very important in uh, AI. We've seen already some examples 
or we will see some examples. Uh, there was a problem that uh, was solved, which uh, limited the possibilities of uh, neural networks. And now, since that problem has been solved, we could use neural networks again in a lot of applications. And we will see that neural networks, convolutional neural networks, have proven a very important tool in AI systems, in supervised learning or in other applications. The other elements that we have uh, when we look at DeepMind uh, computer uh, at this moment, we see that the computer, uh, computer was also able to defeat the Go world champion. Go is a game which is more complex, a lot more complex than chess, and AI can in fact beat them. It means that chess and other games, Go, the ruling world masters can be beaten by a computer, and basically it's no use to play against the computer because we know that the computer uh, will be able to defeat them. There are some other achievements from 2020. Uh, you see the lock or the web link there, and we find uh, a blog. In that blog, I found some different elements related to artificial intelligence. Text generation, and we know uh, ChatGTP. Uh, we also know AI-induced face recognition. We've seen in um, our mobiles that the mobiles can detect faces, but we also are able to go a lot faster. We can, uh, farther we can use uh, AI to even uh, detect people or link people to the face or identify different objects like animals, trains, cars, and so on. There are a lot of advances in algorithm design because algorithms are very important for artificial intelligence. So algorithm design is a very important part of the AI evolution and advances. Drug discovery, well, we can find more interesting drugs. The algorithms, they can do a lot more testing, evaluation of possibilities of drugs a lot faster than humans can do it. And there is a very strong cooperation between the drug productions and AI. We also have speech recognition. Speech recognition has been uh, in some ways a little bit uh, difficult to recognize dialects or different languages. And speech recognition is in fact advancing a lot in that area. If you want to see a funny example, there is the Scottish elevator or lift where Scottish people are asking the lift to go to a certain floor and the lift just doesn't understand what the people are saying. It's a very funny video to have a look how uh, things can go wrong when you don't recognize it properly. Lung cancer diagnosis is very important. Uh, it's possible to even detect certain elements in the lungs that indicate lung cancer even before a trained doctor can find them. So the AI is so powerful, it can find these, uh, let's say, elements already very early and detecting cancer very early is, of course, increasing the chances of survival um, considerably. Then we look at uh, all kinds of uh, applications. Uh, we see that applications are being built in different fields, finance, law, business operations, productions, and so on. So there are a lot of applications that are being generated that become very interesting. And of course, when we look at this in a few years, we will see that or see what is going on with the evolution what was successful, and what was a failure. So let's have a look at the overview, the conclusions of this uh, lesson. First of all, we can see that artificial intelligence already started in the 1940s with the military application by the calculation of those artillery tables. Alan Turing already considered the idea of artificial intelligence and uh, intelligent machines in the 1950s or in 1950 and developed the Turing test to verify machine intelligence. 
Are we talking to a machine or are we talking to a person? The next thing uh, is that people expected to resolve the AI uh, problem or develop an AI system in two months. And it's clear that this has been proven wrong. Uh, now we are looking at certain evolu uh, evolutions which are going faster and faster because we are using AI to create more AI. After a period of optimism, the AI winters or the AI winters appeared and they lasted until 1993 where the algorithm EQP proves the Robbins problem, which was an unproven algorithm. And it's the first use of AI to uh, prove algorithms. And this is the start of the new uh, era of artificial intelligence. New successes were booked. And of course, when there are successes, the people uh, are happy. They want to see more. They have an increased interest in AI. Certainly when we had uh, successes with chess and Go. And today we see that there is a very, very strong revolution towards AI. Everybody wants to have AI systems. And we will see how that will go over the coming years. That was it for this lesson. But before we finish, don't forget to click on the subscribe button, click on the bell button, and every time we have a new video, YouTube will inform you about it. So that's it for this video. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you in our next videos. I hope you enjoyed this video. Anyway, thank you very much, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next videos. Bye-bye.